Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft tutorial and in today's one we are doing our first Lego Marvel superhero tutorial and we are going to be doing Spider-Man um, so this is going to be the Spider-Man design from the first Lego Marvel superheroes game um, it is quite plain in some parts that's mostly the blue parts but the red has like a little bit of detail in it um, let's just go ahead and just quickly fill in this grass block otherwise that's going to really annoy me um, but yeah, let's just get straight into this. The blocks you'll be needing are red wool, red concrete, white concrete, light blue concrete, and black concrete. So let's just get straight into this. What, there's going to be um, some sort of alternating pattern with the red wool and red concrete throughout the whole of the red in the statue. So you'll sort of see what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Starting with our, we're gonna do our red concrete, we're going to do one red concrete, one red wool, one red concrete, one red wool, one red concrete, one red wool, uh, and then one more red concrete and one more red wool. So we should have eight in total. And as you can see, that's a sort of alternating pattern. And that's going to be going up throughout the whole of the red. Um, now I have, obviously, this, this statue will work. It will, the alternating patterns will correspond on each side. So there won't be like, like for example, if we do the side, it won't be like this where it's like, you know, two on one. So don't worry, it's not going to be like that. So that's the first row you want to have. Once you've done that, you just want to basically do three more rows of red, but then just continue to alternate the pattern. So, like this. so that's going to be one, two, three, and then just alternate across the whole way. Then you want to have something that looks just like this. Now pause that if you need to and go back. Um, but yeah, whenever I say do this rows of red, it just means just constantly alternate when you do the red. Anyways, so now on top of this, you can just do th eight, eight solid rows of light blue concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just fill all of that in. Now that he's the legs completely done for Spider-Man. Now once you've done that, what you want to do is we're going to start with the alternating pattern again. You want to start with your red concrete. And just, well, just do like two rows. So, But this left one starts with the red concrete. Uh, so yeah. I probably didn't explain that very well, but basically you just want to have two rows of red with alternating patterns again. It doesn't really matter if you start with the red concrete or the red ball, but I'm just going to tell you what I've done. And then, <sighs> sorry, uh, and then you can just copy what I do. So you just want to have that. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do on the left, place one blue and then place one next to it and just do the same on the other side. So like that. Then you want to add one, two, three, one, two, three, four. You want to do that five more times. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you want to add in this gap up here, four straight rows of alternating red. So one, two, three, <clears throat> now once you've done that you want to place a black concrete on either side and uh, fill the rest with red once you've done that you want to do a red wall on the left a red concrete on the right and that's well you don't have to exactly do that that's just if you've copied my pattern it should line up to be left on the left red wall and on the right red concrete uh, but basically just just you know, alternate it, like I've been saying, to how your pattern is. And then just do two black concrete in the middle. Now once you've done that, you want to go up by three on either side of your light blue. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then you want to do this, uh, starting from left, you want to go one red, four black concrete, and then a red concrete. 
Then go from left to right, you want to do one red concrete, one red wall, two black concrete, one red concrete, and one red wall, like that. Then what you can go ahead and do is now on the left place one red, one black, well one red wall, then one black, then another red wall, then a red concrete, then a black, then a red concrete. Then for the top row you can just do a row of alternating red. So start with the red wall on the left, just completely alternate the patterns. And that's what you want to have for the torso of Spider-Man. Now, you know, I know I said from left to right do a wall or a concrete, but that's just if you've copied my pattern here, which I think you should probably do just because it's easier for me to explain. Um, so yeah. <sighs> Sorry I keep yawning. I'm so tired I've not long just woken up okay anyways now we can go ahead and do the hands so you want to come to this bottom row of red and then just extend it out by four each side and just continue to alternate the pattern so like that and the left you should start with red wall and the right you should start with red concrete one two three four And once you've done that, you just want to add two more rows of alternating red. So one, two, and do the same on the other side. So one, two, and then the rest of the arm to the top is just completely light blue concrete. Now the reason I'm using light blue concrete instead of like blue wool or blue concrete is in a darker color. It's just because in the Lego game, Spider-Man does have this sort of lighter blue colour to him, not the darker blue, and I just think this looks a lot better. I know it's a bit plain, but like I said, like I say actually in a lot of my old LEGO tutorials, um, the designs for LEGO characters in these games are very simple, um, but I guess that is kind of the beauty of them. They are quite simple, and that's what stands them out, that's what makes them stand out, but in Minecraft obviously you can't make them that detailed. But you know, I, I, I don't think that's much of a problem, I still think they look really good. So anyways, now that is the complete front of Spider-Man done. Now we can go ahead and move on the back. So for the back, it's going to be quite simple. So yeah, we're just going to go along the back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to this left side and then just extend it out by three, but again with alternating red. <sighs> Once again, very sorry for yawning. One, two, three should have red concrete on the left and then on this side one two three so you should have red all on the right and when, once you do this alternating pattern it should actually match up perfectly like this and once you've done that you just basically want to add another three rows on top of the alternating red so one two well no that's two three so you should have four rows of alternating red in total, just like the front. And then once you've done that, again like the front, just add eight rows of light blue concrete, like that. Now once you've done that, you can go ahead and then do again another two rows of alternating red so but on the left here we're going to start with the red concrete just like that now it's going to go ahead and do one two full rows of light blue concrete because the back is a bit different then what we're going to do is we're going to do this we're going to do going from left to right one blue one red wall one blue, two red wool, one blue, one red wool, and one blue. Not much other than that, you just want to go ahead and do this. You want to do two blue, four red, two blue. I just copy that exact row once again. And then once you've done that, you just want to sort of copy this row again. So do one blue, one red, one blue two red, one blue, one red, and one blue, like that. And this is going to be the sort of red spider that's on the back of him. 
And once you've done that, you just go ahead and do two rows of normal blue. And then you want to do two rows of alternating red. And on this bottom one, we can start with red concrete on the left again. So that's row one, and then that's row two. Just like that. And there is Spider-Man's back done, so now for the arms, it's just going to be exactly the same as it is on the front, although obviously not exactly the same because the red will be different. But it's sort of like whatever you see on the front, the back will be the, 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 the other colour, if that makes sense. So for example, you can see on this left, it's wool at the front, and then on here, it's concrete on the back. So it's just going to be sort of the same for here. But you don't need to worry about that anyway, because again, if you just follow the alternating pattern, red, concrete, red, concrete, it'll be concrete anyway because you've extend it out by four and that's what it will be. So just do the same on the other side. So we've got a wall here, so we go concrete, wall, concrete, wall. And again, the arms are just exactly the same as the front. So just add two more rows of alternating red on top. Like that. Oh. So you've got three rows of alternating red and then just do the rest blue all the way up to the top. <clears throat> and once you've done that, you have fully completed the back of Spider-Man. Now we're going to move on to the uh, the side, it doesn't really matter what side you do, but I'm going to go onto this right side, so from where the front is, I'm going to be going to this side. And you just want to do this. So we're going to add three rows of alternating red. So you'll see what I mean about how this all matches up perfectly. So if we, so on this side, you should have a concrete on the left, and to be fair, even when you do the other side, there'll be a concrete on the left, so it doesn't really matter. But you want to do, <sighs> excuse me, uh, you want to do three more rows alternating red so one two three and as you can see that sort of alternates perfectly now so there's one block each time and then what you can go ahead and do is now just do eight rows of blue up to the top four five six seven eight like that now with the hand what you want to do is you sort of want to do the alternating pattern again so if we come to the top of this blue as you can see, there's a red wall here, so just do a red concrete, then a red wall, and just sort of copy that pattern for the alternating, and then as you can see at the bottom, it alternates perfectly there as well. So you should have something that looks like this. Once you've done that, oh, I, I do apologise I keep you on in this video, I'm so tired. Now just do two more rows of alternating red, then do blue all the way up to the top. You can see my Mr. Freeze statue in the background there. And don't forget to extend this arm out at the top by three with the light blue concrete. Now that is one side of Spider-Man completely done, and for the other side of Spider-Man you just want to do exactly the same thing. <coughs> so do three more rows of alternating red. Rest blue. Now extend the hand out. Add two more rows of alternating red. And then the rest blue all the way up to the top. And extend the top out as well. Now once you've done that, you have completely done you've completely done the 3D part of Spider-Man around the back and the sides so now it's just time to do the head so what you can do for the head is this with your red what you want to do is <sighs> you want to place hmm yeah what you want to do is you want to place a concrete here on top of this red and then just alternate the pattern again. Then you can now extend this out by two. And what you want to do is you want to extend it out like this. You want to do one red and then one concrete. So it still continues to alternate at the side. And then just sort of fill in that alternating pattern again. 
Now, other, so it should look like this with a red concrete on the left and a red one on the right. Now, at the bottom, it's going to sort of go like this. You're going to have a wall on the wall, a wall on the wall, a concrete and a concrete. But that's exactly what you want to have. You know, no one's going to be looking at underneath the head. But when you look at it from like a front, frontwards point of view, it's concrete and then wall, if that makes sense. So yeah, you do want to have it like that. You have done it right. Now once you've done that, you can just go ahead and do a one more row of alternating red. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and do this. Place a red concrete on the left, a red wall on the right. <coughs> Sorry. Place two black concrete coming in like this. And then just fill the rest in with the red. Now, you want to place white on top of the black. And then you just want to place black everywhere else. Then what you want to do is you want to do this. Going from left to right, you want to do a black, a white a black, a red wall, a red concrete, a black, a white, and a black. Like that. And then just place black on top of the white and fill the rest in with the corresponding red. So you want to have something that looks like this. And you'll know what the corresponding red is because you'll have these two here and then you can just sort of go ahead and place, you know, the blocks that you need to. So once you've done that, it's now just two rows of alternating red. So we'll start with the concrete. And the final row. And that is the front of Spider-Man's head done. Now, the rest of Spider-Man's head is pretty simple. It is just a complete block. However, um, you do want to keep the alternating red going. So you want to extend this out by five more. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to keep explaining to you what blocks you need to use because it's pretty obvious now that you put red next to concrete and concrete next to the red wall. Sorry, vice versa, you know. Concrete wall, concrete wall. So once you've done that, it should extend out by two with wall on the right. Do the same on the other side. So. Oh. And you should have concrete on the left. And also, don't forget to do this row as well, because basically you want to overhang here by two. So come to this wall here and just fill that in. And the same on the other side. Like that. Now, once you've done that, uh, just go ahead. And now, on the sides, completely fill in the rest of the head. You can see what I'm doing here, I'm just constantly alternating the pattern and placing wall on top of concrete and concrete on top of wall. And yeah. There's one side of the head done. And you just want to do the exact same for the back, the side and the top. And it should all correspond perfectly with each other. No, well, not like that. Just like that. And that's what the back should look like. And then for the other side, we can just do exactly the same. Just keep filling it in with the alternating pattern. It's completely up to you if you do want to do this pattern. Um, by the way, I probably should have mentioned that at the start. But if you want to keep him just red, then you go for that. But I just think this looks a bit nicer. It's a bit more detailed, you know. That's completely up to you how you want to do it. So once you've done the side, you can just go ahead and do the top now. And like I said, it will correspond all perfectly with each other. And as you can see, yes, it now is a perfect alternation. And once you've done that, you have fully completed your Spider-Man statue. And there you have it. There is Spider-Man. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry that this has been a really bad tutorial. I know I've been yawning a lot and my nose has been all stuffy, but I'm just, you know, I haven't slept well. I don't feel very well. It's not been great at the moment, but yeah, uh, I'll try and improve them next time. 
So I hope you guys liked uh, this video. Please subscribe, please comment, please share. I'm really trying to build up my YouTube following at the moment. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, comment who you would like to see next because I've I'm still doing the Batman ones, but now I've started some Marvel ones. So let me know which Batman or Marvel character you'd like to see, and I'll try and bring that for you. So yes, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.